right. Hey everyone, Wolfblade coming at you. As well as a very sick Chester. Yeah, I'm actually feeling a little bit better now. But we are here to talk to you with some real talk today. Sick Chouster included. Yay. We are going to go over the Nintendo Partner Showcase Direct and plus Indie World Direct. I don't think we ever had anything like this before, have we? Not that I know of. I mean, we've had like directs and then a treehouse. Yeah, but never like two directs tied together like that. No, I don't think so. I guess they just want to kind of get all the third party stuff done and out of the way. Um, just one foul swoop. That's my, that's what I'm thinking anyway. Just like get all the third party stuff done. They already kind of told us about their big releases coming. Like, you know, Mario and Luigi Brothership, Zelda, Mario Party, whatever. Uh -huh. Um, just try to get all the third party stuff done out of the way. That way they can make room for the new switch Two or whatever the hell the switch sure. attach. But, uh, that, that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking that they're going for. I could be completely wrong though. Who knows? I guess we'll find out. But, uh, yeah, so, as always, with these, um, Chaucer and I have not seen anything really about the news here, so you're going to be getting our, for the most part, honest and uh, initial reactions as we watch through this together. Um, and then um, we also have another topic uh, that... I kind of want to briefly go over, and that involves uh, everyone's favorite blue blur hedgehog. I would say it's so, going to be a lot of rambling by us, I'm sure. I'm sure. They, um, yeah, they released a new movie trailer for that, so we're going to go over that as well, I suppose. Or at least I'm going to try to get Chouster too. <laughs> you will try. But, uh, Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and bring up the video capture. There we go. Got our nice little loading circle going on. Are you ready to go? I am. I'm at zero, zero, zero. Good. Do you want to give us the countdown? Sure. Three, two, one, go. All right, and we are going. Hello, everyone. We'll now present today's Indie World Showcase <coughs> and Nintendo Direct Partner Showcase back to back. First I'm gonna. Up, here's the. I have to turn up the volume. Showcase. Let me know. Good curse. We'll see how this goes. Now, typically, I'm not the biggest indie guy. Like, I like some indie games, but. but I'm we'll a see. Fan. We'll see how it goes. Hi everyone, and welcome to Indie World. I'm Amber. And I'm Indie Andrew. World, my favorite world. More indie games headed to the Nintendo Switch system. All right, it's time to lay our cards on the table. Sure thing. Wait, why is there a Joker in my hand? Here's huh. the deal. Joker cards it's Persona. Baltro. No, it's the ball. It's the Baltro game. Baltro. I heard of that actually. In Witcher. Yeah. Wait, so what is Baltro exactly? It's like a poker game, but it has like RPG and roguelike mechanics. That's interesting. It's supposed to be incredible, and I just don't care. I like anything that involves cards of face. So... Well, you might enjoy it, because it's really popular. Yeah, I, I very well might. It's interesting that they're doing... Oh, Dave the Diver? Is that still relevant? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Among Us? That seems sus. It... You know what this seems like? It seems like, uh, like a Tetris 99 type feel. It's, where I just... believe it's only against, like, a computer. I don't think it's against other people. 
No, I'm just like, you know how you have like the different like visuals and stuff like with Tetris 99, like, like different themings. Oh, yeah. That's what it kind of feels like. Hey, Duck. Hey, Duck. You're actually looking at chat. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not too worried about it this time around. I only have to hide. I only have to hide the chat when uh, when uh, it's a regular direct. It's a big <laughs> wow. It's only indie, nothing big. Yeah, I. I um, don't. I don't always cover the indie stuff. Um, just depends on if I had time or not. Honestly, anymore, I look forward to indies more than I do with AAA because it's just. Such a garbage. I don't know. Well, I mean, not every game can be Concord. I, the thing is, what sucks too is Concord's <laughs> not even bad. It's just like no one was asking for this, right? And like other people were looking at other games right now. This is again, it's too many games. It's too many whatever. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Hundred percent. This looks cool. This looks gorgeous, though. Grease, uh, Grizz, whatever, their first game was pretty great. I've seen that on sale quite a bit, actually. I would highly recommend. It's a good little, good little journey. Since when do you like Journey? I just didn't say it's Journey. Creeping <laughs> all your way up the corporate ladder of a bizarre insect megacorp that's buzzing with mysteries. Yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong. I like a lot of indie games. Um, not like I have anything wrong with them, but it's just, you know how much of a Nintendo fanboy I am. I, I know. If, if you give me the Marios and the Zeldas and the Star Foxes and the whatever, I'm, I'm all there. I mean, that's what, that's what a lot of indies are doing, though, is like... A lot of the games that Nintendo's not giving us, and these are doing. It's true. Not everyone will be friendly, though. Take on enemies in verbal showdowns with multiple dialogues. Yeah, they, um... This looks interesting. There's a lot to it, though. There are multiple secrets. The thing is, the, you know... You know what it is? Is the indies have the game ideas, they have the mechanics, but they have to build... Like the character fan base, like they have. To, I think that's one of the big issues. Ooh, coffee talk. Um, I think that's what, it, and I think that's what what gives Nintendo the edge is. Everybody likes the uh, the characters for those franchises, and they're very popular characters. Yeah. Um, when it comes to the indie games, sure, you got the mechanics and, you know, maybe sometimes the visuals and stuff like that. But if you can't connect with the characters, then it's like, eh. We that work over the last year to come up with a story that retains the cozy elements Coffee Talk I need to play the Coffee Talk games. I have the first one, I just need to play it. Yeah, I have the first one too. Yeah, it's a lot like Valhalla. Yeah, I, I definitely want to play it. On the to-do list. Yep. Coffee Talk Tokyo. Ooh, look at those visuals. Speaking of which, that is really cool looking. Yeah. Speaking of the like cyberpunk city type thing, I finally, <laughs> I did not realize that you can play around with the camera in Smash Ultimate. So you can get some really cool angles of like, like the stages backgrounds and stuff like that. <clears throat> yeah. Which is kind of cool to me or kind of whatnot because uh, the background that I use is actually a snapshot of uh, Foreside. Cool. That I use it to represent uh, one of the cities in the story. Gush. Wolf just wants to gush about foresight. <laughs> it's so good. It's the best 
rendition of Foresight in any Smash Bros. game ever. Ever. Let's check out some upcoming downloadable content that will take you to new and unexpected places. Discover a miniature clockwork world in the Sea of Stars hmm. throws of the watchmaker. Oh, DLC. Sea of Stars, really? Gear up for a journey sea of Stars was incredible. In which yeah. and Zale will have to play by new rules. Didn't you say uh, Chris Servo was playing through that? Chris Servo was. I don't know how far he got into it. Wait, is he? Is he an RPG guy? I didn't think he was an RPG guy. Not really. He he has been enjoying like slower paced games now though, just because with everything going on with him. Sure, sure. Makes sense. Can you suplex the trade? That's the important question. Hey, get out of my Oh my goodness. But just like onions, this swamp has layers of dirt. Oh no. Away. <laughs> oh no. Anyway, a muddy good time awaits in the Shrek special. Power wash simulator. For power Shrek. Wash simulator. Unbelievable. Like All star as you wash away the grime covering five fairy tale maps from the Shrek universe. Is Smash Mouth even like relevant anymore? It's it's all memes. Who cares? That's true. It's they memed it up beyond all reason. Yeah, I heard I heard that they're making a new Shrek movie. I heard they're making a new Toy Story movie too. Our team has been working on a new game called Morse. Or as well. Plays a mouse fighting against the forces of wicked cats, using magical cards to transform. That cat is very creepy looking. Set in a grungy, whimsical world. I know, I've never been a fan of white and black kids. It's a simple top down shoot to Ha! I see what you're saying. Ha ha <laughs> funny. <laughs> Look at you. Helping people play muscles, they enjoy the frenetic action, but are also charmed by the game's personality. Please enjoy the first ever trailer for our strange little game. Thank you. Yeah, it definitely looks strange already. You think we're gonna get pseudo regalia too? I don't know. What's that game again? <laughs> the one with Cybel? The one that looks like OOT? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, how can you forget that one? Oh, good. I just. I, the, the name didn't click in my head. Um. No, I actually. I actually follow that developer and, uh. They said that they're coming out with a new game. I don't think it's going to be Pseudo Regalia, but uh, they said that they have a new game that they've been working on. Cool. Well, I'm very excited to see what they do. I still think, I still, I was talking to Kitsuna the other day, and I still think that we should attempt to do our game idea. We need to take some time to sit down and actually, like, Try to make a game. I might still. Is this the same people who made uh, Nidhog? That's what it looks like. Nidhog. That's a game I haven't played in a while. Hey there. They say home is where the heart is. And that's especially true for this next game. That's right. Household objects, appliances, and even concepts turn into eligible love what? interests in what? everything. What? Okay. Fact, Why is it all like, you With must date all the things? You could be, your your dates are weapons. Your from. dates are monsters. Oh, your dates are whatever. Cabrizio's what the problem. crap? <laughs> but you got against objects. No, I, I, I'll be honest. I bought Sucker for Love, and I, I really want to play it. I just haven't yet. You uh, date Cthulhu and other. I think I've heard of it. Yeah, I think I think I've heard of that. I played the demo, and it's it was super funny and just interesting. So I'm like, all right, I gotta. I'm intrigued. Sure, sure. Cherish the thoughts, Swashbuckler. 
I drive as quick as my whip. Bring your best dating game because your choices could result not just in love, but also in friendship. I think I might pass. Find the object of your affection when date everything. Launch yeah, I think I'll pass. Switch, October 24th. I pride myself in being a Hi, single Sam, bachelor. And I'm Dylan, the game designer of Peglin and the founder of Red Nexus Games. The two of us created the first version of Peglin at a game jam in 2019. The theme of the jam was fog, and we wanted to create something fun and physics-y. We ended up creating the first version of Peglin's battle system. When the pandemic started, working on Peglin became a fun and creative escape. Peglin. We made cute places and enemies for our little goblin I like friends. Piglin. We then added two of our friends to help speed up development, and now four years later, we're a team of seven, and we're excited to bring Peglin to Nintendo Switch. The I was gonna say it's like Peggle, but your gold for as long as you can remember. Uh, it's time to delve into the heart of their lair. No, this is more like uh, the power of pegs. In this roguelike pachinko-inspired RPG, pachinko, yeah. You'll aim yeah, but it's inspired by Peggle, obviously. Battles. The more pegs you hit, the but more But it's a roguelike. You'll deal to your of course, because everyone, everything's battle with a roguelike element, right? It doesn't make every game just a giant pile of trash that sucks and I hate it. Oh my goodness. Jeez. I'm sorry. I, I just... Every time I'm like, ooh, that looks interesting. Oh, it's a roguelike? I don't care. Help you unlock the critical power of your orbs in more Unbelievable, man. The amount of salt coming from over there right now. Combos. Relics will radically change your game yeah, too. I just I don't I don't care for it. To prevent lethal damage or turn yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Just to name a few. Each I can I can enjoy the mechanics domination. of the game. I can enjoy all that. I just I hate roguelikes. <laughs> but just do the pickle. I know we're alive. I saw it. You were correct. Wobbly Island? That's a cow. Get a job. I buy a house. Just like that real was, life, but it actually works. We disguise real life as a game to make you enjoy life. And we got rid of all the depressiveness. Games aren't like real life. In games, you can pay off your house. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh no! my lead and watch out for the Pico Park too. Oh, Pico Park. Oh, Pico Park was so much fun. Oops. Let's try this again. Huh? That seems vaguely familiar. Good thing we're tied together. Look, a key. Let's grab it. Hey, don't jump on my head. Let I'm me... going in. Oh. All right, let's slow it down. And jump. Got it. Yay. We make a great team. Now you know, this trailer is a lie. It oh, never goes that smooth. <laughs> yeah, you think you fail once? Never. Eight players need to work together to navigate oh my God, Pico Park 2. I... Other obstacles. I both you love and hate step. this. <laughs> it's fantastic. Skills to find all the keys and reach every level. Oh no! There are more than sixty levels, and each this, one. This this makes me happy. How many players you have on your side? Think it'll be a walk in the park? Think again. Even are you serious? Challenges await in dark mode. No. Your skills and your friendships will be put <laughs> to the ultimate friendships. test. Get ready I can... for multiplayer mischief when Pico Park 2 jumps oh on Yay. God. That's awesome. That's amazing. That makes me happy. Can't get enough indies? Here are some more titles headed to the Nintendo Switch system in the near future. Wait, what? It's another release of it. Oh, okay. It's kind of like a re release. It's, it's, it's got a few bonusy things to it. Goodness. Man, they keep updating that, don't they? Yeah, I, don't, I think this is a different one. I don't think you just get the update. I think you have to buy it. I love I love Shovel Knight. I actually kind of wanted to play through it again. Shovel Knight's so good. 
That was one of our first uh, prereqs, actually, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, it was. Like, yeah, definitely early on. I have this on my wish list on Steam. This actually looks yeah. really good. I figured. Yeah, middle slug tactics. I'm not a big tactics fan. I I like I did like Pokemon Conquest though. But. Yeah, the Plucky Squire looks great too. Ooh. <laughs> Interesting looking. I think I've heard of that though. I think I've heard of oh, those. Yeah. That was announced a while ago. Okay. That's all for today's show. Hey, oh, where'd you get that pizza? I found it in that tower over there. Oh what no, tower? pizza tower. Pizza tower. Since everyone and their mother was screaming about this to be on Switch. Yeah. I I don't know. I'm not, I'm not a I can't get past the visuals. I'm sure it's fun. I'm okay with the visuals. I just I can't uh, get past it. It it just it bothers me for some reason. It looks like it's been made in MS Paint. I I think what it comes down to is I like listen to someone like play through and it's all about making sure you get like a hundred percent runs. I'm like, yeah, it looks fun. It could, looks like it could be cool, but I just, I don't want to just play a game over and over again until I get 100% on everything. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I still might give it a chance on Switch. Yeah. Uh, it, I'll, I'll pass. I'm not a big fan. This game definitely looks like it would give you the runs. Although what's really funny is I always see that character um, compared to like Wario, and it's well, it's that's pretty what hilarious. It, is, it yeah. makes sense. I mean, that's what the style of game they were going for. It felt like. Indie World. We hope you enjoyed today's showcase. You know, as far as indie worlds go, that was not horrible. Like I've definitely seen worse. <laughs> There wasn't too much, though. Not too much. I immediately wanted to, like... Oh, no, I'm not going to go out and buy I mean, pretty Pico much Park any Park of it. I mean, Pico Park and Pizza, thing, Pizza Tower, maybe. But. Yeah, Pico Park. Um, that, that other game I have on my wish list. And, you know, again, it looks good, but I'm not going to sit there and be like, yeah, I got to buy this day one, you know? <clears throat> sure. All right, and on to the partner direct. And this is the like the third parties, like the the bigger the bigger guys. Hello everyone, welcome to today's Nintendo Direct Partner Showcase. In this presentation, we'll be focusing on Nintendo Switch games launching in the second half of 2024 from our publishing and development partners. Okay, let's get into the headlines. Dog song. These games are falling into place. Tetris. Oh, OG Tetris. Ooh, look at that. That's cool. Celebrate the 40th anniversary of Tetris. With oh my God. Did he say 40th anniversary? Experience the 1988. How do you feel? Of Tetris. Uh, you have you turned to dust yet? Yeah, I, I just went. I went to, to dust a little bit. Yes, I did. Is this like a Tetris collection? Tetris it looks like it. And more. Tetris. Interactive music. Oh my god. Tetris on here. Games shown here. In addition, enjoy the brand new Tetris Time Warp, where you'll jump between gameplay styles. Oh my. That's pretty cool. You can also watch new documentary clips about the history of Tetris and its key players. Tetris oh. Forever drops onto the Nintendo Switch system this year. Oh, that's cool. Plus, the NES version of Tetris is coming to Nintendo oh, really? Switch Online <laughs> this <laughs> winter. That's cool. I've been watching a lot of documentaries on that version. For a Tetris 99 Maximus Cup event. Also I haven't played Tetris 99 in a long time. I haven't really played it at all. <laughs> that's, that's cool, though. I might If it's going to be a physical release, I might pick that up, actually. We'll see. 
After receiving a mysterious distress signal, you'll venture through a massive alien world to reunite with your Is beloved. Is this Hi-Fi Rush? Ride the stylish <laughs> hoverboard to explore stunning landscapes filled with all sorts of alien structures. Uh, what's funny is the first thing, the first screenshot, it made me think of Starlink. Each area will challenge your universal skills. Along the way, Starlink is such a... Melee combat. <sighs> It's such an underrated game. Skills and combining different abilities. Yeah. You can find I really... The toys to life and Ubisoft, pros. they're like, nope, I'm out. Like, if they... Fair. No, it's fair. But if they would have had more, like... If they would have had what they had and then maybe just added some on-foot elements to it, I think that would have been, like, perfect. I think it would have been a great, perfect game. I think... If Nintendo gave them the rights for Star Fox, I think that'd be fantastic. Oh yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. If they could develop a true Star Fox game, um, I think it'd be that uh, that would be it. Welcome to the vast island of. Is that a goat? Where you'll take on the role of oh, I thought this was a remaster. I know they're remastering the first one. In this sprawling sandbox adventure, you'll have what the fact am you I never seeing seen right goat now? Simulator? Are you serious? Want to drive around town? Join a yoga class? What am I even watching right now? <laughs> it's like it's like a physics playground, but it's like making fun of like all the other games that were come out around the same time. Oh my goodness! Unbelievable. So think of it just like a it's like a meme game, but like actually decent. And you're not the only belligerent Billy around here. Oh my god. Bad mischief in two player online. I mean, it's just you cause chaos. Sure. It's, fun. Hope you're ready to it's like GTA, but with more. The digital version of Goat Simulator 3 rams its way uh, up to Nintendo. Yeah, Shop I guess. <laughs> more the Goat, yes. version of the game launches on Nintendo Switch this November. That's not a bad way to put it. It's Here's GTA, but memes. A mix of first reveals and game updates coming to Nintendo Switch. Well, they did always say that GTA was the GOAT. Ha. The Legend of Heroes, Trials in the Sky, the first. Yeah, hmm. the, the hero of the trails of whatever. I mean, that's a little bit different, but... Interesting. Ugh, Star Wars Hunters just looks like just garbage. I've seen that, yeah. It's been out for a while. Oh, all three Stalker games? That's not bad. Although I probably wouldn't want to play it on Switch. Classic Worms? Oh, Worms Armageddon, really? Oh, man. I know a lot of people were into it. I never got into it. It was... Uh, worms, worms Classic. Like, one and two are just fantastic. Armageddon he... not technically two, but it, I don't know. Dreamlight Valley. I thought that was already on Switch. It's an update. Yeah. Is this SpongeBob? No, it's Patrick. No. No, this is Patrick. The silly sea star from SpongeBob SquarePants. The Patrick Star game. Sandbox adventure. Bikini Bottom is your oyster. Interesting. Make some hilarious mayhem by performing whimsical skydives, digging up treasure in the dump. Why do I get like Simpsons hidden run vibes from this? That actually <laughs> would be great. Cuz that's kind of what you're looking at, I think. To paint tubes. I'm okay with that. And he's not the only familiar face here. Take on comical challenges from SpongeBob, Sandy, Squidward, and more. What's the love? Hey, you turned out the lights. Step into Patrick's shorts and the inner machinations Interesting. of his mind. When SpongeBob huh. SquarePants, the Patrick Star game launches on Nintendo Switch. But it's yeah, probably using it's the same engine as the game Cosmic game Shake, yeah. Nintendo e Shop. Yeah. Ready for your very own personal trainer? Oh hey, personal trainer's coming back. Let's get started. Ready. One, what is it, two, boxing the latest entry in the yeah. boxing series. Like, I don't remember what it's called. It's a Nintendo Switch. Newly added features make it easier to train more regularly. 
Use Quick Workout to jump into an exercise program right after launching the game. That's right. Put the patches together. But it looks like you've got more in you. Once you're done, try going the distance. With an extra Do any of these fitness exercise games actually ever work? With I don't know. Maybe. With your instructor at your own pace. Looking good. And in sit fit boxing, you can complete exercise um, programs while seated. For a there is this experience. Uh, girl I, I watch on TikTok, and she's lost like, I don't know, 50 pounds or so just doing VR games. Really? Yeah. Plus, you can change their he has one of those treadmills, though. You know, like the circle ones uh, that you can kind of actually run on. Oh really? She got one of those. That I want to get one of those. Those are cool. Oh, I know. I do too. But holy crap, is it like they're expensive? I'll get out. Bucks. Yeah, they're yeah. actually probably more than that. Yeah, they're really expensive. You showed this already. Marvel vs. Capcom or Capcom Fighting Collection? The Capcom Fighting Collection. They showed this in the actual. Uh, the actual direct not too long ago. I thought that was uh, Marvel versus Capcom. Oh, you might. Be, yeah, you're right. Never mind. I'm sorry. This is Capcom Fighting Collection. Different. Street Fighter Alpha Three Upper. That's uh. Plasma Sword. This is proof that most 2D fighting games are all the same. Power Stone. Oh crap. And Power Stone. That's actually kind of cool. Capcom versus SNK. I know, I know a lot of people are super excited that Power Stone just got announced. I don't even know what it is. I never even heard of it. Uh, it's a... It's more of a Smash Bros. kind of fighting game. That's not quite really a good way to put it, but... It's more of a party fighting game. But it was on... Yeah, Marvel let me see. Fighting collection, arcade classic, uh, it was for Dreamcast. Oh, okay. Well, that's probably why I didn't know about it, because I never had Dreamcast. Yeah. I really wish, like, Sega would come out with, like, a Dreamcast Mini or something, though, because I would definitely buy that crap up. Yeah, it'd be, it'd be fantastic. See, I used to be... I used to be all Nintendo all the time. Like, I didn't want to stray off the path at all. Now that I'm older, it's different. Is this a Xeno <laughs> game? It looks like Xenoblade. Or Xeno something. Xeno Crossing? <laughs> <laughs> It looks nice. Well, that doesn't look nice. <laughs> I mean, it kind of does. The, the second you said that, it was like when everything was on fire. <laughs> I mean, that's how I typically live life. Everything on fire. Yep. It's realistic. Real life, the video game. We like to make you feel... Oh, Adelia Riza or Adelia Yuma, Yumia. We hmm. hope you're looking forward to the newest entry in the Atelier series, featuring a brand new protagonist. Atelier? Is that how you say it? Some more headlines. Sure. I don't know. Adventures and allies await in these Nintendo Switch games. HD remasters of the first two Suikoden games are coming Suikoden. to Nintendo Suikoden. Switch in one bundle. Meet and befriend up to one you know, they've been doing a lot of bundles, like a lot of collections and stuff. Yeah. Trilogies, bundles. Like, the Switch has a ton of that. Which, I mean, is nice. Oh, yeah, definitely. I just... I wanted to point that out, though. Like, it's just... I found that to be interesting, but... That's a thing. The HD 2D remake of Dragon Quest 3 draws near. After gathering your companions and selecting This does look really really good, but customize their appearance, voice, I don't know. With the new Monster Wrangler vocation, <laughs> Dragon Quest scares me. <laughs> 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 
I'm telling you, man, seven broke me. I want them to release uh, Rocket Slime 2. Really? It's coming out today? Yes. This is what I saw on Steam, and I'm so excited. Portrait of Ruin and Order of Ecclesia rise again in a single collection. Both of, all three of the greatest uh, Castlevania games. Those are good, huh? They're so good. Plus, there's a gallery that includes exclusive art and a music player. What makes them good? Uh, the battle system is Symphony Night mixed with uh it's called the dominus system that's what that's why it's called the dominus collection you get abilities from monsters and they're just like so many and just, i don't know you really can make it however play style you want it to be sure it's it's they're just so good you research new technologies expand your territory Establish your empire I still have them on, on DS and I still play them occasionally. Those are the DS ones. I heard I heard someone talking yeah, yeah, yeah. about the DS ones here very recently actually. Yep. I knew it was a matter of time for them to release it, but I wasn't sure. <laughs> this actually looks really interesting too. I like the civilization. On it. Civilization. Yeah. I don't know. Turn the page on a revolutionary new chapter. I like it. it. Just it always just takes too long to play a game, and I just don't care. No, I actually want to play through Castlevania. I want to play some of them, see if I, I will like them or not. I definitely could give you recommendations. Celebrate the 30th anniversary of the Tales of series with a remaster of the action RPG Tales of Graces F. What's the F stand for? <laughs> friends. It stands for friends. <laughs> Classic. Several years have since passed. I was totally thinking something else. Strong friendship and desire to protect their loved ones. The now grown up trio get entangled in a conflict that will determine the fate of the world. This remaster adds enhancements like destination icons and toggling enemy encounters, what? as well as downloadable. <laughs> Just skip all the fights. Nothing wrong with that. Got to move on with the story. Uh. Tales of Graces F remastered launches on Nintendo Switch January 17th. Yeah. Two adorable adventures. Oh my. One my Sims. Bottle. They're bringing my Sims back. Interesting. I think I heard a little bit of talk about my Sims. I'm sure they're fun to some extent. I mean, how many were there? There was like just so many on the yeah there was a the ds we and on our discount me's yeah that's one thing i i want nintendo to really bring back at the next generation is i want them to bring back me's i want them to have more me games I want street pass back i want stuff yeah having a street pass on a i mean it's a portable system yeah, I just I want I want more me stuff. The me stuff was always so interesting and fun to me. More help is wanted. <gasps> Roxy. What it takes to manage this perilous <laughs> pizzeria? Test your skills. Oh my god, I love Roxy. In this first person Roxy may not be on Fortnite. But she's, she's on, on Switch. Switch. <laughs> of job duties such as <coughs> there's my girl show in the pizza plex salon it's the only mini game in this whole game that i actually even care about is roxy's <laughs> hopping on attractions like a log ride sounds easy enough right but you'll be doing all of this while avoiding animatronic atrocities along the way 
Become a Fazbear Entertainment Superstar in Five Nights. At I love how they have like goofy music and like they're just like, kind of like just not even acknowledging the creepy factor. Mega Pizza Plex. Help Cassie find her friend and escape the ruins in this free story DLC. Oh, ruin coming to Switch. Security breach launching on Nintendo Switch this holiday. Interesting. Let's check out some Nintendo Switch games launching in time for the holidays. Oh man. Alright, what do you think of the Funko Pop game? I think it's horrible. I look, I think Funko Pops as a thing are stupid. I mean I'm not a, the biggest Yeah, Tales of the Shire. Um I'm not even the biggest Amiibo fan. Really? But I like Amiibo. I think the Funko game looks interesting. Well, okay. So to be honest with you, I like anything that has to do with crossovers. I think crossover stuff is phenomenal. Um, any excuse to merge some stories together and stuff that, I mean, that's why I'm such a big, huge fan of like Smash, right? I, I just, yeah. I'm, I love crossover games. Anything that you can play your favorite characters from different series all together. I mean, I, I, Fortnite, perfect example. Yeah. Um, but I, I feel, I honestly feel like that Funko Pop game is kind of like low budget, like, hey, give us your money. It, it absolutely might be garbage. I'm certainly going to waver reviews, but I mean, I don't know. It could be fun. It could be. I mean, I could be wrong, but it just, it looks so low effort. Sure, sure. What's this? Oh. <coughs> Welcome to the eastern nation of Azuma. Azuma? After a calamity struck, the energy sources no longer uh, ceased to exist, and the land... I... The Rune Factory games look so fun to me. Like, they just look really good, but... I mean, it's... Ah, oh, man. This, I don't know. It's the creators of Harvest Moon, right? Like, that's how it originally started. They're like, hey, we want to keep doing Harvest Moon, but we want to add combat and add other things. Yeah. Yeah, what is it? Rune Factory 5, 6, whatever? It, I was looking at that, and it looked super good. And that's actually why I really still want to play Harvestella, because it looked like Rune Factory. Yeah, Harvestella looked good. I have the demo just sitting there. I, I need to play it. Monsters may lie. See if I actually like it. Harness your Earth Dancer abilities to confront them and restore certain monsters to their human forms. And you know how I am with the Japanese aesthetic. Like I, I love it. As you settle sure. into village life, get to know the community around Lego you. Lego alloy. In your alloy. Find friendship or even robots. Aloy. Who knows? A wedding could even be on the horizon. Experience a beloved series reimagined. In Rune Factory Guardians of Azuma, launching on Nintendo Switch next spring. I think it looks okay, Duck. I don't know. Next will be our last announcement. Please take a look. Last announcement. Oh yeah. Oh. Music games. Immerse yourself in the story that starts. That's interesting. Saga in Yakuza Kiwami. Kiwami. Kazuma Kiryu. The Kiwami Sami. Is it just zero? Clan's patriarch and Haruka. Why is that girl's face look like it's distorted? Set in Kamurocho, Japan. This is zero, isn't it? District. I have no idea. I never played any of these games. I've played them a little bit, and I, I it, they're they're really something. Between four fighting styles in real time combat, fight bare Like they are really good. I, I know, I know a lot of people really like. I know a lot of people like them. I think Krim played them recently. Yeah. So take a break from brawling every once in a while. I was really getting into like a dragon. 
uh, I mean, that's what it's called in Japan, but the... I don't even know, is it 7? The one that's like RPG, like turn-based, actually. It's, mm -hmm. it's actually really good and just so goofy. That's interesting. Huh. That's what they left it on, though. Yeah, that's what they left it on. That's so weird. Huh. I mean, uh, I, as far as, like, partner showcases and stuff goes, I mean, I sure, I guess. It was fun. Huh. Interesting. It's, yeah, that's interesting. Well, I don't think it was bad. What what, what do you think? What, what would you give I, that rating? I don't know. I it was adequate. It was fine. Again, I I went in with no ex expectations, so I came out with no expectations. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't think it was bad. I think no, it was, no, it was, it was okay. Fun. I mean, it was fine. I um. Again, nothing I'm going to go out there and be like, yeah, I need to buy this day one, you know, type of thing. But, I mean, you know, we're all, you know, it's fine. Seven or eight. Yeah, probably, yeah, I'd, I'd probably give it a seven or eight. You want to throw the Sonic 3 trailer in while you're at it? Well, funny you should say something about that. Because that's... The, the the directs are not the only thing that we got news on today. I honestly, if you haven't, I'll say this now. If you haven't seen the trailer, don't watch it. Or, or we can watch it right now. <laughs> we sure. can watch it right now. But I'm just saying, I'm I'm expecting Duck and Whirl has already have already seen it. Sure. I don't know if sure. All right, so uh, message from Chowster, spoiler warning. If you don't want to watch I it now. Movie trailers, uh, everything game trailers at this point. Movie trailers show too much. They show too much, show too much of the story. I want to watch the movie unfold while I'm in the theater or while I'm at home, you know, watching the actual movie. I don't want I mean, to know fair. all the plot points when I'm watching the flipping trailer. I, I, I do hate it. I do say that they oversell a lot of stuff in these trailers. Like game trailers, movie trailers, they do oversell a lot. That's why like for Tears of the Kingdom, I saw the first trailer and I ignored literally everything else. Like I didn't even watch any of the other trailers because I just I knew I was gonna buy it, I knew I was gonna get it. And for, for one, there you go. Tears of the Kingdom. Zelda. Oh yeah. Uh, but, I think I also did that. I may have yeah. watched the second one. I don't remember. I like I've ignored everything about Echoes of Wisdom. So we're gonna go ahead. I'm gonna play the trailer real quick. Chester, I don't know if you're watching your end or not. But I've already seen it, so it's. Wonderful. I've already seen it too, but we're gonna run through it real quick. You finally found your family. Try to keep up. So. The thing about Sonic it is kind of cool um, because Chester and I, sorry, I'm grabbing the fan because it's getting really warm in here. Um, Chester and I have been kind of making it a tradition to go see these movies together um, since the first one. We've been doing... Uh, We've been actually going and grabbing sushi and then going to the uh, to the movie theater to watch the movies. We did it for Sonic 1, Sonic 2. We're probably, hopefully we'll keep up the tradition. Um, I, yeah, I hope so. I will say the, uh, I don't know, is that, is that still a bad word on social medias? What, sushi? Sorry, that's the last. That's the no, no, no. That's the last movie we saw before uh, the incident. We don't want to fight the global incident. Oh, the pandemic or whatever. The yeah. COVID. I, yeah. But I, I flipping YouTube 
like, I don't know if they still do it, but they would, like, ban people for even talking about it. Like, oh, my God. I don't know. It, it's like, oh, it never existed. We got to delete this from everything. Like, I don't yeah. know. This does look really good, though. And if this is actually going to be Jim Carrey's, like, final movie um, before going fully into retirement. See, that's the part that I'm annoyed about. I would, I didn't, I was like... I wanted to know that happens in the movie. I didn't want to know it happens in whatever. I don't know. What Jim Carrey being in it? Yeah, I didn't. I didn't know he was gonna be back. I thought the he whole said thing was... he said specifically that he was gonna come back for Sonic Three, and then and then that's it. Like he's literally retired, but he's gonna come back for you know to reprise his role in Sonic Three because it's Sonic Three. But I thought the whole thing was that he only did it for two, but. No, no, he said that he was going to do it for three. Like, he was going to retire after two, and then he came back just for three, but he's not going to be doing anything else. Now, who knows if that's going to change or not, but... Yeah. Oh, I, I just saw the, the shadow with the, the roller skates. Yeah. So he does run like that, that's funny. Yeah. I, I think, isn't it Keanu Reeves who's voicing him? Can I read? Is it really? Yeah, I think so. I'm like, I knew I recognized the voice. I didn't even think about it. In the saggy flesh. It, it looks, it looks really good. Um, it looks like that they are going to be doing, like, it's going to be kind of like Sonic Adventure Two, but not really. Um, I. I don't know. I'd like it looks really interesting to me. Like it looks interesting. I really wanted them to introduce like a couple more characters, like Amy, Rouge, whatever. But they, uh, they aren't. They the director already said, yeah, we're not doing Rouge. And then like, of course, everybody like blew up on that. Cowards. <laughs> yeah, that's basically what that's what the internet kind of pretty much <laughs> said. Because he actually came out, he actually came out and said it. He's like, "Guys, I played Sonic Adventure two as a kid. Rouge made me feel some weird things, and I don't want to bring that into you know the theaters or whatever." And then the internet just like destroyed him. I mean, you know, to be fair, I understand why they wouldn't want I to could, touch that with a ten foot pole. I, I, I touch it with a my 10 foot pole if you know what i mean <laughs> just saying go. Hey. smash I i'm dumb <laughs> let me see let me see if i can find uh that quote real quick let me see if i can i don't know if i'm gonna be able to find that uh As of July, as of July 2024, there have been no castings announcements for Rouge the Bat in Sonic the Hedgehog 3. Some say that there's no mention of her in CinemaCon trailer. Um, some people have speculated that Kristen Ritter would play Rouge. Um, let's see, where, where was that tweet? There, there was a literal tweet on it. Um, I'm sure. Where literally, like, the director came out and said that. I want to see if I can... See if I can find it. <laughs> Just be like, guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, w I went to the shareholders and went, look... Just look, and they're they're like, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, here it is. Um, I went to the board is what I meant. I don't know, it doesn't matter. Right. Uh, let me see. Let me see if I can bring this up here. Mm, ba -ba -da -ba. I mean, that's the thing. Yeah, like, I'm sure. Are they gonna have them trying to find the Master Emerald? Like I don't know. I yeah, I'm sure. All right, so right right here is the post. Um, Victor McKnight. I think he's the, the director. 
I think. Yeah, I could be wrong. But I think most people are expecting her uh, to be Rouge the Bat, but this is fine. I feel like previous tweet I made a while back could easily contradict the statement. I don't mind Sonic Adventure 2 and had a decent time playing it. I have a fondness for certain story beats and love seeing uh, them represented in future Sonic stories, whether this be referential or continuity based. That in mind, I really don't want Sonic Movie 3 to be just another Sonic Adventure 2. I don't need Rouge the Bat. I generally hope that Sonic 3 adapts Sonic lore much more concise and stuff. I wouldn't that is, say that says anything about him. No, that's not that's not the same post. That's not the same no. post. That that's a different post. Let me see. Uh let me see if I can still find it. That yeah, that is a different post altogether. Um, can you search just a person's Twitter? Like, is that possible? Like, just his page? I don't know. Do you th- I haven't used Twitter, and I can't tell you how long. And I'm, uh, I've never fair. been happier. <laughs> I mean, that is fair. Uh, my, just my life has so much more meaning now. <laughs> <laughs> just did not be on Twitter. Uh, Amy has no point. Yeah, I, I guess I guess Amy wouldn't have right? any point. Yeah, Amy was an adventure. No, no, no. Sorry, the Sonic movie is what I, I meant. Oh. I... Crap. I don't think so. Unless there was like a brief cameo at the end or something. But the brief cameo was Shadow at the end. Yeah. I don't think it was. Um... I can't find it at the moment. I would I would have to find it and then look it up or like post it. Um I was I kind of want to cite my source, but I don't know if I can find it right now. The source. Trust me, bro. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> <laughs> uh speaking of which. You know, random random announcement. Um they shut down Anna Wave. I'm still sad about that. If you don't know what that is, then that's okay. <laughs> it's it was a it was a site you visit if you like to sail the high seas. Sure. A- am I true. wrong? No, no. Captain Jack Sparrow would be proud. <laughs> All right, time to go to the eShop so I can buy something. What are you buying? What are you buying? Yeah, he, uh, he could have I'm, deleted I'm, it too. Yeah, that's true. I'm buying flipping Castlevania. Are you kidding me? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's true. See, like I the, guess I, I guess there I, was I, something I already, that Chester wanted to buy day one. <laughs> I told you. I already said it. Also, why is Pico Park eight dollars? The first one was like a dollar. <laughs> True, but you get eight times the Pico in the I mean, park. It might be longer because the first one's pretty short, honestly. Well, it depends oh. on if the people you're playing with are That's not true. just the worst. I don't know what you're talking about. I would do I no such thing. We, we did all right. I would do no such thing as such as sabotage. 
sabotage everybody, literally. He could have deleted it. The world, you were absolutely 100% correct. Yeah. Yeah, I remember seeing it, though, because I was pretty disappointed because, you know, I do like I do like Rouge quite a bit. He's like, maybe I should rephrase that. I shouldn't just just immediately flaunt things on the internet. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Because I I remember he got roasted for it because, like, all the Rouge fans... Because, I mean, you don't have to make her (sighs) sexy. Like, I know Sonic Adventure 2 did, and whatever, that's kind of what her thing is. But, like, look at, like, Sonic Prime, for example. They had Rouge, and they made her not as uh, pronounced. (laughs) What way to put it? Um, I mean, it's, it's just a thing, you know, it's like, don't, it, it's, it, it's again, like a, my Sharon Rui situation. Don't, you know, <laughs> kill the character just because that's one aspect of her personality. That would be like, it's, that'd be like the, people trying to cancel. Girls. Right. <laughs> that'd be like, um. You know, people trying to cancel Ruby for being Ruby. I just, and I would not have that. It's a family movie. Well, (laughs) guess what? I'm sure the family has a lot of guys and and, and girls who might have particular interests in said things. (laughs) I'm just saying. Anyway, I'll be right back. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. Well, I think we're going to go ahead and end the Real Talk uh, segment here. So if you enjoyed it, uh, be sure to click that follow button. That way you can tune back in for more of our uh, ranting and, and antics and whatnot. Um, if you guys are going to stick around, I will probably keep streaming for a little bit um i'm going to probably turn on some smash or something we're gonna keep messing around with some spirits i guess for a little bit so but if you're leaving have an awesome night um give me a couple minutes and we'll switch on over <laughs>